Uh, guess what? We're talking to Perfect Peter Ishkins. Hi, Peter. How are you? I am real good. Excellent. I'm looking at this uh, mystyle.com here, and I went to TV shows, and then there's a, uh, you say, where, where is, uh, there he is. Peter Perf Perfect. There it is, Paul. <laughs> Helps uh, business go from sluggish to spectacular. Okay. Yes. So, uh, okay, how, how do you go in, about doing that? Well, what I do is I go into small businesses and reinvent small businesses through image and style. I give them a brand. Okay. So uh, you give them a brand, okay? Uh, Their so brand. Give me an example. So... I go, so the first show, which premieres on April 19th, I told you, at 9 o'clock on the Star Network, is about Rita's grooming. Now, Rita hadn't decorated her place for 20 years. So you can imagine, the place is an absolute mess. It's an eyesore, right? Okay. So I go in there and bring out what is great and unique about Rita and turn that into her brand. So we aesthetically make over her store. Also, what we do is we give, them a, we give the people that work there and Rita a personal makeover. So it's like a double makeover show. But, you know, what comes of that is a real emotional journey because, you know, we start to do things in the show where we break down the store, you know, get rid of a lot of the old clutter, the old stuff that was in there for 20 years and, you know, throwing away a lot of her old memories, you know, but she doesn't know that we're going to be creating new memories, and, you know, so there's a real emotional journey that goes on with it too, you know, change is hard, we all know that, you know, and it's a lot about really changing the way that Rita thought about herself and her business, and that's what I'm so great at, going in there and reinventing you know, their business for them. I mean, she, she had um, like a big chain store come down the street that was taking away business from her, you know, and she didn't know what to do. She was hopeless. And I come in there and, you know, I, give her, I gave her hope. Sparked mm -hmm. her imagination. She can take that business now to a completely different level. You know, Rita's Grooming is now a strong brand with a strong image. And that really does help your business. So I, I think that's wonderful. This is uh, this is real good news, and we love that. And we love when people help other people uh, improve their lives and make their lives happier. Absolutely, and, and more uh, um, you know satisfying. Yeah. Uh, I guess on two levels is where you go. One is a uh, personal, uh, emotional, and uh, and then there is the actual business potential of growth. Yeah. As a result uh, of it. Yeah. There's it's 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 many many different things this show you know that's what's so great about it because when you think about it you think, oh, it's a makeover show well yes it is but it's really about people connecting with their own greatness really seeing that there's no difference between them and any you know huge business they can take it wherever they want to take it once they connect with their own selves now Peter this I see here and congratulations to you because this is good news as well for you um, uh, you have a show on the 19th, you have a show on the 20th, you have a show uh, different times, so on and so forth. So uh, this will be a series kind of a program? This is, no, it's, this is a series. Okay. There's actually going to be nine shows that you will actually see, nine different shows, which is great because, you know, people are going to be able to identify with a lot of the different shows, you know, things that are going on in their own business and hopefully take that information and transform their own businesses. Now when you say small businesses, these are storefront businesses? These are storefront businesses, yes. Okay, so give me another storefront. I love, so I grew up in a shoe store in a little small town, Tarrytown, so I love this I kind know of Tarrytown. Uh, thought process. So right. uh, tell, tell me, give me another example that you did. Right, so another one is like, there's a, there's in, you know, I'm in California, a surf shop, surf shop called Rider Shack. That was a small business, you know, this, a guy, this Jeff and Lacey that, that work there, they own the business, they're surfers, you know, they love surfing, so they spent most of their time sort of really concentrating on surfing rather than the business that they had. So we go in there and 
you know, help brand what they really, what they do. So, you know, it's all about curb appeal. Most people don't understand that, is that, you know what it's like, Paul. I mean, you drive past a business and if you see something that's aesthetically pleasing to your eye, it looks great, makes you want to go in there, makes you want to be part of what they're doing, makes you think, oh wow, these guys know what they're doing, I want to get in there. And that, that's that's really what it's about. It's about getting customers in there to buy into what you're doing. What, what would you say in a surf shop uh, it was one of the most important things that, uh, that the owner had to uh, realize? One of the most important things of the surf shop was that, you know, his biggest ticket items, which were the surfboards, were hidden in the back. How about that? A surf shop. I mean, it's crazy things like that. There's just no thought gone into it, you know. So what we did was we brought them to the front, and so people, when they immediately walked in, they think, oh, this is a surf shop, you know, I'm here to buy a surfboard. And they were the biggest ticket items, and that's what, what they made the most money on, were hidden. I mean, it's just simple things. That, okay. Simple well, changes that can make a big difference. I can hear you. That's beautiful. Peter, thank you. Congratulations. MyStyle.com. Go to TV shows. Uh, look forward to meeting you, and uh, when you're in New York, uh, give us a holler. You got it, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.